Got the sticker, man. <laughs> Yeah, you're a happy camper. You can sleep tonight. That is correct. I get to go home and just be knocked out. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, I don't. I get to go and put an exhaust on. <laughs> Dylan, what is this car? Uh, it's a 89 Volkswagen Golf that turned into a, a uh, GTI and Put a 96 Passat motor in it and then turboed it. So it's now a turboed VR6 Angry Monster Hate Mobile. Yes, it is. <laughs> Gets the job done. That's right. Who's MoFab? That's uh, one of my sponsors. The guy, Scotty Molitor. He, uh, he does all that. He built me the catch cans. Um, yeah, he's a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, helps you out with all your performance goodies. Yeah, and then Align sponsors me too. They're out of, uh, they're up in Summit County. They make snowboarding clothes and stuff like that. And then these are just all my forums. Dub Zentrum, Dubber's Inc., and Hardy's Motorworks is a shop in Parker. That one. Is that that one that um, Brad goes to and all the... All the high performance stuff, all those guys got a STIs and everything out there? No, nah, that's Mac Autosport. That's, oh, okay. We all used to work there, but not anymore. Just go up there for dyno use now. Oh, okay. Well, dude, I like your toy, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm glad you got it together. Me too. <laughs> Month and a half later. Yeah. What a joke. Wicked, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah, he's a. Hold on, hold on, let me get a set here. nice you put carpet in there yeah the whole thing I but they, I couldn't get a one piece oh you had to do it in sections well the front and the back oh okay but it's all come out pretty nice yeah it did see how, see how it is it's see the front there without the yeah, the front is oh this. man, those are brand spanking new. Yeah, well it is. It's old. Yeah, well wow. these are these are new too. Uh, this is the only one that's dirty. Oh yeah. yeah nobody's ever sat in the back seat. <laughs> man, that looks good. How long how long ago did you do this? Oh, hey, about a year, a year ago. Really? I don't remember seeing it like that clean. Yeah, it's looking good, man. You know what I have to do, Ray? Hmm. Is, 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 is get me a new seat cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. See, this, this, 
Let me put this back. See this, uh, this is, uh, is worn out. Oh yeah. It's worn out. Right, well, I'll just. Just the, the interior, the insides of it yeah, or? Just, 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 just see. Oh yeah, yeah. But I, I but I got, of course, replace the whole damn thing. Oh yeah, yeah. See that? Solid old car. Solid as a rock, man. Yeah. Show me what's going on under the hood. Not that. They just... I was going to show you some. These are all the things that. Uh, this is all the things that were replaced on there. Everything that was replaced on there. Everything, the numbers and everything. Wow. This is the this is the the, the transmission on the the warranty on the transmission. Man, that's a big list of stuff. Why well, everything? Everything? All the little. All the little things were, were 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 replaced. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, All the little details. Yeah. Oh yeah, Aurora Auto Body. Uh -huh. I don't know why it's not tell unless I get my glass and tell you exactly what all that crap is. Oh, believe me, yeah. I think they did the job right. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I haven't had no problem with it. You know, that's what's nice about it. I haven't had no problem uh, with the engine. I haven't, it don't use any oil. I. Uh, Everything in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It hasn't, you know, since I bought the car, it, it's never been in this. It's, it's always been garaged. Uh huh. It's always been garaged. Yeah, even before you did the body, it was been garaged. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Underneath, uh, under uh, the undercarriage here is, uh, is, uh, I got, uh, New shocks. I got everything. It's oh, yeah. I did it myself. Oh yeah, yeah. You and me got that. The only thing I, you know, what I gotta do, Ray. What's that? Is that I gotta get me. Uh, do they still sell? Remember them, them, them little uh, uh, buttons for, to, to, like you know, it was just a little wrong button like that to blow your horn. I think so. Do they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I gotta hook this damn horns up. Oh, uh, okay. And I cannot, I took that thing, that, the, the, the thing on the horn, uh, and I got, and I, I can order it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is a total complicated damn thing. Oh, yeah. A thousand little springs and everything. Uh -huh. And I, and when I took it apart, I took it apart, uh, because it wasn't working. I lost a little goddamn little spring that, uh, when you push that little, the, the, the round thing, the horn. Uh-huh. Oh, that, yeah, that sticks. little retainer clean. Yeah, uh, so uh, I, I've had this, I've had this disconnected now. I had these horns disconnected now for, for a long, long time. 
I'm doing fuel injection over here across the street. That's why I got to kind of keep the door closed and got the fan blowing and oh, yeah. got to get it done by the end of this week because my emissions test is, my, my second test is due by Friday because it failed before. So that's what oh, I got. That emission testing is, I'll tell you, Ray, don't go down there at the end of the month. No, I know. Oh, <laughs> it's I had, so I see, busy. I, I, I waited and waited on my Virginia's car, and uh, I said, well, I shouldn't have any problems. Just run it right through that shit. <laughs> it took me two and a half, almost two hours. Dang. Just to go through the emissions thing. It was that long a line there? Yeah, well, yeah. Once you get in there, you have to down there stay. Yeah, you're stuck. <laughs> you're stuck, stuck like and Chuck. The one over here. Uh huh. And people were just blowing their horn and just. And there was people, the people that run the place. They were just over there yelling at. There was smoking out there. Was you know. They weren't doing what the hell they were supposed to be doing. They were poking around, huh? <laughs> Pissing me off. But you I, I usually go there in the morning, man. Yeah. Well, if you go there like dead smack in the morning, like 9 or 9.30 or something like that, it's like there's hardly anybody in there. And then see, they're just... Is, this is all new. This yeah, new brand new radiator. Yeah, this is all new. I just don't look very new. <laughs> yeah, all that little stupid yeah. dusty I put, things. I put everything new. Oh, yeah. This uh, this weird thing, the the power steering unit is right with your with your with your uh, oh, generator. With your generator. Yeah. See, it's back here. Oh, okay. And as a matter of fact, I have to check this. See for oh, it's got plenty of fluids. It shouldn't be. Uh, I told you. I told you that uh, I was always getting a a, a spot. On the, on, the, on the thing there, and you know what that is that comes from? Well, it, it's not leaking anymore. That was, it's uh, the power steering unit, the oil, the little rubber uh, gaskets. O-rings on there or o something? O-rings. Oh, okay. I'm not going to mess with that. <laughs> I'm not you got to do mess. something with this. Huh? You got to do something with this. What's that? Pull this off, stick uh, baking soda in water. Oh, yeah. And oh, then okay. just, and just um, you know, take it apart. And then put put this part in baking soda and watch it water and watch it dissolve. It'll just all dissolve away. And then when oh, you put you it back, the the, the that and the one under here too. You see how that's getting corroded yeah. too? Yeah. And then once you do that, put it back together and get some Vaseline. And then just put it all in this wire under this here, and then all on that bolt right there, and and it'll stay. It'll quit corroding like that. Because that right there will give you a bad connection, and one day it oh, won't yeah. it, won't it won't start, start on you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? I usually do that. I usually take my wire brush, or, or, or I take, even inside, I got one of those little things for the... Yeah, yeah, clean yeah. Clean the inside, they mm -hmm. clean the, clean the, the post. The post. Mm -hmm. But I haven't done nothing. I haven't done nothing. Uh, yeah. All winter. Mm-hmm. And you left it hooked up all winter? Yeah. You never unhooked it? I usually unhook my stuff if it's sitting around too long because yeah. it's happened. Yeah, to, maybe it's a good idea. It, it, it's actually drained my battery before just sitting there like that. You know, that's the new, the newer stuff with the, uh, you know, the stereo in there that keeps the the time and all that stuff. It usually, usually drains. Usually, when they when they, when they change the battery like mine, they pour this corrosive uh, spray on it. Yeah, yeah, anti corrosion. Yeah, anti -corrosion. yeah mine's well, red. I have some. Yeah, I have some. Yeah. But I haven't. I, I well, you don't, don't need Vaseline then when you clean it up next time. Just go ahead and um, squirt that stuff on it. I usually put a rag down there so it doesn't spray on everything, yeah. and just psh, 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 yeah. and just yeah, it's looking pretty beautiful, man. I got to get back to work. Will you start it for me, please? Huh? Will you start it for me? Heck yeah! Sounds beautiful, man. Dang, it just went. Like, That's how they're supposed to be. Well, I just got. I, I, I put the, the carpet in the trunk. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Back there is my 
golf clubs. Oh yeah. Looks like a living room, man, with a little pillow. <laughs> I can take a nap back in that big bad boy. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Man, that looks good in there. It's still got the original rubber thing underneath there. Uh-huh. But I glued it right on there. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it makes a little more soundproof. You know? Oh yeah. See, back in the day, man, they made these things so heavy and so solid that they went down the road so smooth. I mean, it's just a big, heavy car. You can make about three or four Toyota Priuses out of the metal from this car. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Right. It's just that heavy. Jack. Yeah. The jack. Yeah. the original jack. I've been wanting to clean it up and paint this, you know. But... That's all right. Who cares? You ain't going to use that thing. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Bill. I'm going to get back to work over here. Well, go ahead and show me what you did to this. What kind of car is this, man? Uh, it's a 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. GSX? Is this all factory the way it came? Pretty much. What have you done Except to it? For, I've got a new front bumper, new rear bumper, so it looks like the 97 to 99 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Oh, okay. It bumped it up a generation on the looks? Yep. Oh, okay. And the motor's pretty much just all stock. It's got some spark plug wires. Aftermarket eBay. Point to, the show, point to the stuff that you've done to it. Uh, just this intake right here, the hard pipe with the filter. Is that K&N or something? No, it's just like a knockoff one. I want to get a K&N. I'll get one here soon. I want to get a force performance intake too, but it's just stock turbo. Stock came, turbo? came with this, the Gretty blow-off valve. The Gretty blow-off valve. Yeah. Okay. And then pretty much just the clear cover. We've done a few, a few little things like this is... We custom had this fab. It's like a little spring to make sure that the dipstick doesn't pop out. Are those known to pop out? Um, on these cars, they are. And the old one that we had was crimped. So when we bought the new one, we made sure that it would never pop out. Oh, okay. Got a new, new cap, clear cover. Painted a few little pieces here and there. And what's this clear? What's this clear cover? It's this uh, like. It's called a Zackley. From this company here in Colorado Springs, and you can see all the timing gears moving and the timing belt yeah. moving and all that. So you know if you need to change your timing belt. Oh, okay. Well, will you be able to see if there's cracks in there and stuff through that? Yeah. Oh, okay. And what'd you paint back here? A few of all these brackets. They were all rusty. Oh yeah. So we've got a new battery for this too, and another one of these gold connectors for this one. Just haven't done it yet. Oh okay. And then all all this stuff. You can see the brand new bolts here for the control arms, both sides, and the new rubber with the conies in there. Oh, yeah. I bet you could tell a difference in the handling after that. Oh, yeah. It's pretty crazy, too. They have a little adjustable knob that you can uh, adjust the conies with. And make them tighter and soft, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You can see those in Yellow boys in there. Oh, yeah. Got that all yep. four corners. Oh, all the way around. Yeah, I did these rotors and the red stuff brake pads. I did get all four, but since this is an early 95, it uh, has bigger rear rotors in the rear than they do in the front. Really? For some reason, yeah. So you have to buy like uh, the stock ones. They don't really make aftermarket ones. Oh, okay. So that kind of sucked to find out. I thought I'd already bought the parts, but I'll wait to see. Okay.
Okay, yeah. Hard fiber cast. Pretty nice. They replaced the seats with uh, matching leather seats because it had a cloth and a okay. one in there. Got a new shift knob. Yeah. Has a headliner. It's all good. You even put new leather seats in the back? No, those are the stock ones still. Oh, okay. You just had to redo these because they yeah. were in bad, worse shape than you got it when you yeah, got it. I it had a cloth one, so this one's now electric power. Oh, sweet! Yeah. All you had to do was um, the plug was already down there for you to plug it in. Yeah. Oh, cool. This too, we got this whole new piece right here because these door switches were stuck inside there. Oh yeah, yeah. So now those actually work, right? <laughs> right on. <laughs> I know, don't you hate when there's stuff there that don't work oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's supposed to? Lots of little odds and ends of this car. Yeah. For sure. Now what else have you done to it? Um, Are these new tires? Yeah, brand new tires. We did that when we first got it. Did you put brakes on it? Uh, just in the front because I had bought them all four, but they wouldn't fit in the rear. We had noticed once we got them. Oh, okay. Because they were like way too small. You just had to get uh, rechange those, exchange them for some others, or just left them alone. Yeah, they I were just good. got my money back for those. Okay. They didn't. They were like, oh, you know, like they didn't really even realize. Oh, okay. And that was because something was different back here than from the factory. Yeah, they're bigger. They're way bigger in the rear than they are even in the front. Usually That's how you know it's an early '95. Oh, okay. Because okay. it's like uh, made, you know, like October or whatever of '94. Oh yeah, yeah. We did this uh, antenna delete. Oh, okay. That's about all that we've done that you can see. And it's running pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it's running pretty good. It's pretty uh, smooth, though. That's what everybody says is that it rides really smooth. Yeah, it does. It's just still stock exhaust and everything. Are you gonna go louder with the exhaust? Yeah, I want to. It's just I'm trying to afford it, you know, like I want to get a good one. So. Oh yeah. Um what's his name had HKS catback. Oh yeah. HKS uh HHSKS. That was um HKS was one of the things he had on his blow off valve too on that uh okay. on the STI? Yeah. Yeah the, man HKS is the company to go. The only thing about their exhaust, though, is that they're not uh, stainless steel, oh. so they'll rust. But Good. I mean, they're nice, though. Oh, yeah. Means you can't drive it in the rain. Right? Like, their blow-off valves are the best, too. Yeah. There's a new company, too, though, also, that in this case, also new uh, blow-off valves. They're called Synapse. Synapse. They're, yeah, they're pretty cool. Oh, okay. They're, like, uh, instead of using, like, a diaphragm, it's, like, a... Uh, But it's pretty cool though. Yeah. It's a new technology. Man, I like that, that turbo blow off valve sound. <laughs> Is that what's actuating it, the turbo? Yeah. Okay. It's still just all stock too. Yeah. Run smooth, man. It's pretty smooth. I still need I, still, I got like uh, some solid motor mounts I need to go in here and then uh, some uh, brand new U joints to fix the, cause the drive shaft you'll hear when, like, when I'm turning. It's like, oh, yeah. It's kind of like a CV joint, but it's not that because we replaced the CV axles. So that's another thing too that we did. And that's CV. only something that's exclusive on all wheel drive ones? Yeah, because it's. Uh, uh, They, they can bind up, you know, like the U joints get bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should be a pretty hard time for me, and that's, that's a little small ass turbo. Yeah, like, yeah. 15 psi, and then it backs down to 12. Jeez, man.
Very nice, man. This is running really good. Just need the looks to match it. Yeah, that's okay if you hang on to it for a while. Or what's it called? A Mako will paint it for 300 bucks. Yeah. Except for their paint is very thin. Don't wash too hard after you paint it. <laughs> Man, so I want to just try and uh, get some carbon fiber pieces to replace it, and then I can go and find some uh, some good shop to get a good paint job. Yeah. See, crazy. My buddy has one of these, pretty much the same exact car, except he's got an aftermarket turbo and an exhaust. I think it's so loud, he was like terrorizing the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. But his car doesn't ride as smooth as mine does. No, man, this one's nice. And he's all like, damn, how much did you pay for that? Because we, you know, we've driven each other's cars and stuff, and he's just like, man, 600 bucks, that's too much. <laughs> Not really. Because like, his, yours is a lot smoother than his, isn't it? Yeah. Except mine still has that monster. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need some clearance anyway. Oh yeah, I scrape that bumper anyway, everywhere I go. That's even a new bumper. Cool man. Hi, my name is Chris. This is my GSX. Right on. And it's a tight ride it, it, it is, man. Go ahead and pop the hood, man. Yeah. Wow. Wow, look at all that pretty red stuff under there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's clean. Yeah. What is this car? Uh, 2006 Mitsubishi Evolution. Evolution. It's not a rally art. Nope. What's the difference? Uh, this turbo one's. An all wheel drive. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, okay. Rally Art is like a four cylinder, I think like 2.2 maybe, something like that. Okay. So this is a two liter. Okay, so the engine's much bigger and better and stronger, and well, it's all. Well, this one's a 2.0, and then the Rally Art's a 2.2, but it's non turbo. It's like naturally aspirated. Okay, okay. I think it's twin cam still. Yeah. Front wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, front wheel only? Yeah, this one's all wheel drive, though. Have you done anything to this one? I have. I got a. Go ahead and point to it. Open air element, uh, air filter. Uh huh. And I got a manual boost controller by Hallman. What does that do? Allows me to adjust the turbo boost. Oh, okay. So I have it turned up two psi from stock from 19 to 21. Okay. So I'm running 21 psi. Um, got this battery. That's a temporary battery right now. I'm going to get a small battery so I can get bigger intercooler pipes. Oh, because that's in the way of a... Yep, to do larger intercooler pipes, the battery is, so you can get a small, like, half size. Oh, okay. Yep. So that thing can be fatter and get more boost into the injection yep, and all the, that? for the intercooler. Oh, okay. Yep, and then I have a three-inch turbo back exhaust, no cat. No cat? Yep, no resonators, just a... Uh, just a muffler. How you get away with that, man? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I have to put the stock exhaust back on to do a emissions, emissions test. Yeah. And so that's coming up. Actually, mine, mine expired the uh, end of September. Or yeah, September. Okay. So I got to get them by the end of this month. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, because I did that with my Trans Am, man. Yeah. I put a test tube on there, and I had a. Um, yeah, has a straight, pipe. I had straight pipes all the way back, no muffler, no nothing, man. And every time it came around to emissions time, I had to put my cat back on. Yep. And, and it was like, oh man. Yep. But uh, it they sounded have, sweet without they it. They have a cap that might fix, or like they sell one, of course, that would fit probably the exhaust I have on it. But I'll just try and put the stock in my already have. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Did you put brakes on this? Yeah, you haven't put any on it since you've had it? Nope. How many miles is on this car? Uh, 36,000. That's all? Yep. Wow, that thing's still a baby, man. Yep. And these are BBS wheels? Yep. These aren't factory? 
Yep, they are. They are? Yeah. Because it's an MR. Yeah, this is an MR edition, Mitsubishi Racing Edition. Oh, okay. It still comes with the brake stock, though, all of the Evolution do. But this one, what's different about this one, it has black housing on the headlights. It has HID headlights, and they're actually adjustable four positions. Okay. The headlights are, uh, and it has the fog lights in the center right there. Those are the fog lights. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then it has the gray color DBS wheels. Wow. Man, they really put some toys on this thing from the factory. Yep, and then also with the MR, the MR has uh, Bilstein uh, shocks okay. all the way around it. The springs might be Bilstein too, I'm not sure. And then it has aluminum fenders and a hood and roof. Oh yeah, that lightened it up a lot. Yeah. And what's this thing back here? Like a vortex generator is what it's called, so it helps diffuse the wind, I guess. Yeah. I had a spoiler, but I did the spoiler delete. And then I got a shorty antenna on it. Okay. And that was a spoiler? There was a spoiler right there? There was a spoiler right here. Oh, okay, I a see that. A big one, big yeah. high-rise spoiler. Yeah, yeah, those come on all of them. Man. Yep. Evos. And so I, I took that off. It looks a lot slicker without it. I like it without it. Yeah. I want to get a carbon like fiber trunk. Spoiler, but... Yeah. I'm working on getting some new brakes. I had new pads to put on there, but my my rotors, when I took them to get them turned, they were below, or they were right at minimum thickness. So oh, okay, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta use them up while you got them. Yep. And then the EMR has like a black housing too in the taillights. Okay, yeah. And then there's the exhaust. Well, part of the picture. And what's the brand on that exhaust? Yeah, it's the eBay Special. eBay Special? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Came out of California. Cool, man. How's it run? Runs pretty good. Oh, yeah? You take me for a quick cruise? I got the custom license plate. Evo yeah. MR. Yeah. Everybody's always like, what's an Evo Mister? <laughs> Evo Mister. Diamond Great. Star Motors, man. Yeah. It comes with the Recaros, too. That's expensive. Oh, yeah. Let me see the interior real quick. Ooh, that's nice. It still smells fresh and new in here. Man, haven't had no parties back here. Oh. Headliner's still beautiful. Oh, yeah. I like those seats, man. These are Recaros. They are. Expensive. That's factory, too. Wow. Man, I they put, put those seats in my car. Yeah, they put their heart into this car, man. A lot of it. Working on my gauge cluster, I did that. And this is up here. Yeah. That's where you're gonna put it. No, oh no, right in, the, in the center. Oh okay. That's for my phone actually. That's my phone now. For my GPS and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, I see. Where okay, where you're uh, putting some new gauges in the middle there, yep. the center stack. Yes, sir. That looks like a carbon fiber handle on that. Uh, it is. It's carbon fiber throughout the car. Carbon fiber. In here, the piece under the hood that's carbon fiber. I bought them that and the clear cover. Okay. Cool. Let's go for a cruise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want me to do one of me starting it up? No, no, that's okay. Right. What's going on with the dash here? What are you doing? Um, working on a gauge cluster here. Got a. Okay. Point got, to the ones you got in there already. Got boost. Okay. I'm gonna put a wide band O2 in here. Okay. And then this is oil temp. Oil temp. Okay. And the Evo uh, MR comes factory with uh, gauges down here that consist of a boost gauge, a volt gauge, and an oil tin. So then I use the wiring from the existing oil tin because it already has the bung that goes into the um, oil drain pan mm -hmm. uh, plug. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty slick. The wires come right out of there. Oh, and yeah. So that's, how I, so that's why I got oil tin. That's why I got that. Okay. And so I got this piece as aftermarket. Oh yeah. Because I had swapped it, the stereo came up here, and it was a quick swap, so I had already done that. Took the stereo from being up here and put it down here, and took the factory gauges and put them up here that were Mitsubishi gauges. Oh yeah. And then They're I got really this, and 
and they got the bigger gauges, yeah. That looks almost carbon fiber. This oh, is uh, pretty much stock. The oh, same, okay. The same thing. This is how it looks stock, so it's made to look like it's Do all stock. these gauges over here work? Oh, yeah. Okay, and what's the miles on there? 36, 282. Oh, yeah, I got a fill pump in here as well. You put a fuel pump in it? I did. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that slight whining. I can hear it because I'm like sitting. Is it back here? Yeah. It's in the tank? Yep, in the tank. A Walbro 255. Two, uh huh. And then I want to get bigger injectors and get it tuned and run on E85. Oh, yeah. They're going to be running like a beast. That sounds cool. I like it, man. <laughs> Thanks.